Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. You're watching D. Pi. I'm Sohel. I'm a computer engineer who loves to work with Python and specifically OpenAI. So today's video is about OpenAI. It is my first video ever on YouTube. So in this video we will talk about OpenAI. I will show you some basic uh, things and some basic concept and in future videos we will look into it in uh, more details. In future videos we will see how we can use it to build customized chatbots. We will see how we can use it to search within documents and e extract meaningful information and so many other things we will do with, with OpenAI. I will also uh, tell you how you can make money by providing OpenAI services to uh, clients and I'll also show you uh, how I managed to make uh, quite a money just by providing OpenAI services. Anyway, let's get to the topic of this video. So here I'm on OpenAI uh, quick start guide so basically what is open ai open ai is just ai research laboratory uh, that is famous for uh, gpt models text generative models uh, you can say large language models as well basically they provide us uh, some cool gpt models uh, and the good thing about this is that we can use it through api service we don't have to care about all the processings and so we will just use their api and we will build something cool anyway let's get started so guys basically open ai have many uh, gpt models uh, let's look into them over here in playground the first one i would talk about uh, i'm not going to talk about all these models let's say we have text even co3 it is very powerful model you can see the description here they says uh, it's most capable model in the gpt3 series it can perform any task the other gpt3 models can often with higher quality longer output and better instruction uh, the strength of this model is complex intent cause and effect creative generation search summarization and so anyway let's uh, type something here let's say once upon a time let's say it is a chat completion model okay so you see it completed it automatically for me it looks into the previous words and accordingly it uh, generate the next word okay this is the general concept this model works on so once upon a time there was a young girl who lived in a small village blah 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 <coughs> so here on the right side we can see uh, there are many uh, parameters we can change such as temperature if we set it to one the ai will most likely predict a new output for the same prompt each time uh, if we set it to zero it means the given prompt only have one answer and you will keep getting that answer again and again so uh, we will see let's check it out as well let's say who is albert einstein let's set this maximum length to 50. this is the length we can specify <coughs> uh, it it represents the length of generated tokens let's submit it okay as you can see this is the output okay let's copy it now i'm going to remove this and let's submit it again perfect let's compare the previous one and this one as you can see it is 100% similar there is no change you see this it is because we have set the temperature to zero if, as we increase it uh, the AI will be more random and creative let's set it to one now and see what happens okay it have returned something anyway let's copy this remove it let's try to run it again and let's compare them now look at it it have explained uh, it has answered to the same query 
but with different wordings you see now now you see how this temperature is affecting the creativity or the randomness of the open ai model anyway let's move forward there are a bunch of options such as top p we will cover all these in future videos uh, we have stop sequence in inject start text and some so many other things let's now you can try these other models as well uh, anyway let's move to the chat models it's actually ch chat completion model uh, we have gpt 3.5 here and i got early access to gpt 4 as well anyway we will be talking about gpt 3.5 turbo it's the model on which chat gpt is based so let's say you are a helpful assistant okay that's fine i say who is Albert? no let's say hi what's going going on this is my message okay let's submit it hello as an ai language model i don't have emotion and physical you see it's the it's the same thing uh, it's a gpt model actually a text generative model but this is 3.5 the previous one uh, which was davinci 3 it was gpt3 actually so the general concept to these things are that it's nothing but a text generating model that can understand a bunch of text and answer accordingly okay so this is one of the use case if you have a better understanding of this you can build so many things with it uh, there are so many use cases uh, such as uh, a creation of a virtual assistant uh, i mean a chatbot obviously so let's go to the examples here we can see uh, they have provided some templates let's try one of them maybe let's try this classification no, uh, let's go to let's try this analogy analogy maker okay so you can see they have provided a prompt create an analogy for this phrase questions are errors in that let's submit it and see what we get here oops this chat completion model has generated an analogy based on the given context so so i'll also tell you how we can you know communicate with this model using programming language such as python we will use open ai api key of course so let's first of all let me show you how to get the api key if you go to your profile from over here you see there are api keys you can just click this button and it will generate api key for you super simple and you can add that api key to your environment variable or you can just copy paste it anywhere so once you have the api key let's say let me go to example uh, let's try this template okay uh, okay so i need a code for this Le uh, as you can see over here we have a button view code let's click it and i will select python from over here and i will simply copy this code and let me open this with vs code let's create a new file let's say first program.py okay and i'm going to paste that code as it is no changes i save this file and let's run it uh, make sure you have your api key in environment variable or maybe you can just copy and paste it here as a string uh, i have it in my environment variable so i don't need to replace it i will simply run this code and see what we get okay we get no output because the results are stored inside response and we are doing nothing with it let's try to print response let's run it now and see what we get there you go we got the response from open ai the input pro pro 
the input prompt was create a list of eight questions for my interview with a science fiction author and here you can see it has provided us a list of eight questions now let's try to print this text only okay we don't need all this metadata uh, let's say choices mm, zero text now let's run it again there you go we got the output uh, so you see how simple it is to talk to the gpt model using open ai api we don't have to care about all the heavy processing of a machine learning model or ai model uh, it's so easy for us uh, i think this is the best part open ai provides us uh, the api it makes things a lot easier so anyway the so guys so guys this is our first program we have successfully communicated with the open ai api and we have got the response according to the given prompt over here so in future videos i will be covering some uh, advanced topics of such as embeddings vectors and how we can you know divide our questions into sub questions and bring out information within many documents and so many more things anyway that's it for today guys it was an introductory video to open ai as well as my first video on youtube so guys make sure to hit the subscribe button and if you have any question or to you if you have any suggestion feel free to leave them in the comment section below Thank you so much.